Top 10 Biggest MCU Retcons Hello of the YouTube family, welcome back to Superstar Tense. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Here are Top 10 Biggest MCU Retcons 1. Tony Stark had Captain America's shield in Iron Man as the first movie on the MCU, Iron Man was primarily a standalone project, and the story focused on Tony Stark's heroic journey to Iron Man, but it also contained subtle details showing the constructions of the world in which it was about to begin. Apart from the inclusions of S.H.I.E.L.D., Captain America was present on the MCU long before Steve Rogers, not to mention the, the now iconic Nick Fury post credit scene. It also suggests that. 2. Peter Parker in Iron Man 2 MCU Spider-Man hasn't realized in Captain America until 2016 Civil War thanks to an unprecedented deal between Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures. This led to the introductions of iterations of Tom Holland's fan-favorite characters. But when Kevin Feige and his team said the Iron Man mask boy who was attending the Iron Man 2 Stark Expo looked younger, he was a web sling hero in the franchise much earlier than his debut. It was Peter Parker who found a way to tackle. 3. Tony Stark was recruiting Thunderbolt Ross to the Avenger The incredible post credit Hulk scene revealed that Tony Stark had come to Thunderbolt Ross to team up at the MCU at the time. The sequence didn't contain any further details, but it was considered the Avengers setup. It also meant that the Hulk was somehow in exile. There was no reward for the story and it's by design. 4. Mark Ruffalo almost played Bruce Banner in The Incredible Hulk Agent Phil Coulson, the original character of Marvel Studios, was the only thread connecting all a phase one that led to the climax at the Avengers. With personal encounters with almost every single MCU founding hero, it made sense that his death at the hands of Loki motivated the team to set aside their differences and go after the god of mischief. But it wasn't long until we found out that Nick Fury was able to resurrect Coulson without the knowledge of the Avengers, thanks to some alien technology. Five. Why Captain America isn't eating during the Avengers shawarma scene? Comic fans were very excited to learn that Tony Stark's comic enemy Mandarin would make his theater debut in Iron Man 3, but this will soon be a controversial among fans. This stemmed from director Shane Black's decisions to put a plot twist, revealing that was supposed to be the worst global terrorist was nothing more than an actor, Trevor Slattery playing a part for the film's real main antagonist, Aldrich Killen. These creative decisions caused a wave of backlash from the comic book purists that Marvel Studios had to address with the one-shot All Hail the King, in which it was revealed feel that the real Mandarin exists. 6. The Tesseract was the Space Stone and Loki's Scepter has the Mind Stone. The six Infinity Stones were the MacGuffins of MCU's Infinity Saga, while some of them emerged late like the Soul Stone. Others had existed in the universe as early as Phase 1, only in different forms. The first Avengers featured the first Infinity Stone via the Space Stone, which was then only known as the Tesseract. However, this wasn't always the case. It was merely a cosmic cube that was treated as such even in the Avenger. It was only in Thor The Dark World where it was explicitly called an Infinity Stone which stuck until Endgame. 7. The Infinity Gauntlet in Odin's Fault was a fake The Infinity Gauntlet was the focus of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, as it allowed the wearer to unleash all the powers of the Infinity Stone at the same time. However, Metal Gloves have a turbulent history, including reconnecting with the MCU. It was first seen by Thor's in Odin's Fault in Asgard in 2011. So in the post credit scenes of Avenger Age of Ultron, people were naturally confused to see the crazy titan wearing a seemingly real Infinity Gauntlet. 8. Gamora's not the last of her kind Introduced in James Gunn, Guardian of the Galaxy, Gamora is known to be adopted daughter of Thanos. When the Nova Corps ran her profile after being caught, it was revealed that she was the last of her people, the Sehoberi, because Thanos wiped out the entire race. Infinity War, however, went back on this as we saw what went down during the Mad Titan's invasions of her home planet. Instead of killing everyone on the planet, viewers learned that Thanos and his people only slashed half of the populations to deal with potential resource scarcity that bogged down Titan. 9. Thor's Not Nick Fury's First Alien Contact During the first event of the Avenger, Nick Fury said that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s very first encounter of extraterrestrials was with the Asgardian Prince Thor. The Avengers' initiative proponent argued that the God of Thunder arrival on Earth and his subsequent fight in New Mexico forced them to amplify their weaponry and prepare in case more of him made their way to the planet. 10. Goose's Scratch was actually how Nick Fury lost his eye. 
Nick Fury eye patch has been synonymously with the character even from his comic book days. So it's only fitting that Marvel Studios adapted that detail when Samuel L. Jackson made his debut in Iron Man. Throughout the years, there were comments regarding how he injured his left eye. It was even a big narrative element in Captain America The Winter Soldier where he sternly told Steve Rogers that the last time he trusted someone, he lost an eye. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any video from us.